I've always wanted a transistor curve tracer and I just finished up building this one. It works absolutely wonderful and today we'll look at the entire build from start to finish. Okay, I got all the pieces here to start a new project. This is the curve tracer kit I got. This is for doing a transistor curve tracer. I also have the existing one that you saw me build before for uh, just standard diodes and stuff, but this, uh, this should be a fun one. That came out really good. Nice and simple. I think he must make these boards himself. But it's a, yeah, it's a nice little, that was fun. Just nice little put together. Okay. This is the main board of the kit where the brains will live. And that will actually be our curve tracer. Now, the power supply is done. So you can get one at sales at tiekits.com. Is the only guy I have found that's making curve tracers these days. They seem to be extinct and I want one. So now we're going to have one. Cool. That's come along just beautiful. This is a case I grabbed off of Amazon. What I'd like to do is exchange this for a clear front and then illuminate it maybe. So what I'll do is I'll trace this. Uh, I'll just scan it on my printer and bring it into Fusion 360 and just do an outline and then I'll cut a piece of acrylic on the K40. And that, that way I can put my, uh, my BNCs in nicely, um, binding posts, because the BNCs, uh, they'll need to go in the front too, and switches for control instead of those jumpers back there. This should fit in the top, suspended, and I'll put the transformer on the bottom just because, well, it's heavy.
Okay, minor annoyance. These are just thick enough that they don't fit in the slot. And I have no intention of reordering acrylic, so what I'll do is I'll just slide it behind the slot. And it'll still be absolutely fine. That should be slick. Not perfect, but close enough for this lab.
Yay. If you'd like to try some electronics projects like this but don't want to put out the expense for an entire kit, you can go to PCBWay.com and check out some of the community submitted projects. There's all kinds of circuit board designs that you can order at a pretty reasonable price and make the kit yourself with the raw components. Sometimes this has a lot more options because there's some pretty strange and neat projects out there that have just never been mass produced. You can also have your own designs made at PCB Way. Check out their main page to order and check out the community sections for all kinds of neat stuff. And we got it working. I had to mess around with the memory depth a little bit to find something that was viewable. And you can change your time base a little bit, so, but I think right around the one millisecond. And one or two milliseconds seems to work pretty good. And then if you drop the memory depth down, yeah, it's not too bad. So it varies at 600K, uh, one mega sample. Not too bad. Uh, it's viewable with, with a little bit of noise, but if you drop that sampling back, and mess around with the time base a little bit, it gets quite a bit clearer. Um, I imagine even maybe the anti-aliasing might help, but maybe not. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, we're up. This is on uh, PMP, that one right there. And yeah, we're fully functional. We have a transistor curve tracer. How cool is that? And this is with the memory depth at 60K two millisecond time base and five volts and a hundred millivolts for our X and Y. So yeah, not bad. That's viewable. Uh, obviously better on an analog scope. That's uh, what gives them a really good look and you don't see all the spurious stuff, but hell, that's okay by me. I'm happy with this. That is super, super cool. We can now uh, get the characteristics and, and actually fingerprint transistors, uh, as well as just checking to see whether they're defective or not. Pretty cool. Well, there we are. That is the final product. I think it turned out pretty decent. They just have to do one more little trim on the plexi on the front and uh, we're good to go. Uh, maybe wipe the monkey prints off of it. And yeah, we should be all set. That came out pretty decent. I'm okay with that. Maybe we'll even put some LEDs in it sometime. But yeah, all is well. Cool. Can't wait to try this out. This video has probably been long enough. <laughs>